That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack him up! Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. I'm losing my temper, Maureen. And you're about to lose much more. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How... Where'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Um, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? 
<laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile Up, Doreen Schmorley. All right, boys. Sick them. And finally, we have a last minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Try and get away now, bicycle boy. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin! Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Ben, what are you doing? Get over here and nail me! Ben, I can't avoid these other cars forever. Okay, Boom Boom Brothers. It's all over. Get him! What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? Oh, idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it! See what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. Still no sign of Miss Morley. This is your moment to shine. That's the way up, but I can't get through that door. Well, folks, it looks like the party's getting a little out of hand. The stadium seems to be catching fire, but let's all remain calm and. Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders' meetings.